welcome back to my channel before I get to today's video I want to let you guys know that I'm going to be in Arizona Saturday June the 11th hosting the fifth natural hair AZ Expo I am super excited because I've never been to Arizona before so if you guys want to meet me definitely come on out it's going to be at Arizona State University from 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. and although I'm hosting the event I will have some time to take pictures with you guys talk to you guys and everything else before and after the expo so I'm really excited to meet you guys I'm super excited to see mountains because you guys know it's super flat here in Michigan and again I've never been to Arizona so I'm super excited I know it's going to be like crazy hot but I'm gonna come prepare so I hope I see you guys at the expo but without further ado let's get to today's video so for those of you who saw my last video then you know I did a what I eat in a day video for a vegan newbie and I've actually been vegan since May I think in my healthy food haul I did I talked to you guys about going plant-based and how I was like on the track to that but I actually became fully on vegan in May and I thought without just diving into all like these vegan videos and talking about like me being vegan, I thought I would just do a video explaining why I am now vegan. Um, if you knew about any of my like diet choices before in the past, then you guys know I was a pescatarian. If you don't know what pescatarian is, it's a person who basically don't they don't eat meat like any beef, chicken, poultry, nothing like that. They just eat seafood. And I was pescatarian for about five years and I liked it. I didn't have any problems with it or anything. But I heard some news, I want to say two years ago. Like two years ago I heard this news that they were going to start farm raising salmon. And salmon was like my favorite fish in the whole wide world. Every time I would go out, I would always have salmon like at a restaurant. I didn't cook it too much at home because I just never liked the way I, it tastes when I cooked it. But at a restaurant, that was like my favorite food ever. And they started doing something called farm-raised salmon because basically it was so many humans who liked salmon and they weren't catching a, enough salmon to kind of feed all the humans who like to eat salmon. So they were going to start farm-raising salmon. And it scared the mess out of me. It scared me as much as the steroids and meat scared me, which made me become pescatarian because I thought that was healthier. Like they would talk about all the steroids that were in the meat because they were trying to make the cows and the chickens bigger to obviously sell more meat. And I was just like, I, I can't, I can't do that. So that's why I stopped eating meat. And now they're about to start doing this weird stuff to these to salmon. I was just like, I can't. I can't do it but I continued to eat salmon I was just like blocking that out of my mind whenever I would order salmon and then I started doing more research on tuna and how you know I'm thinking I'm buying like the best tuna bumblebee tuna I think it was the white albacore and they said that that's not the best you should get the tuna that I, for, I forget like I was doing my research on it and every time I would go to the store I would make sure I would get the right tuna but the tuna it was like $6.99 a can and you know if you don't really do your research you used to get like star what is it star kiss and it's like 99 cent but that's like the the possible like the that's like the worst possible tuna to get and they were said that they were killing dolphins and it was just like I was doing my research on all this like good for you food that is not really good for you and it's not good for the environment and I was just like I cannot do this and I've always been a fan of vegan food like the way they cook it and it was always very fascinating to me and I even delved like delved into some vegan food when I was um trying to cut out sugar it kind of made me buy a lot of the things that vegans would use to cook their meals but anyway I was always intrigued but I just never took the full step to being a vegan but that all changed I want to say in April um I just wasn't feeling great I didn't really have energy and I really thought it had a lot to do with my diet because I ended up I think we went somewhere and I ate something and I felt super amazing and then the next couple of days I felt like crap and I was just like what is it what's going on with me why do not I don't feel good I'm always like irritable my stomach hurts all the time like what is the problem 
and I looked at my diet and I was like my diet is super shitty like it's probably the food that I'm eating because I have a crap diet and so I was looking at um, a few videos on YouTube of course about vegan food and I was really interested and I started really doing my research on it and I want to give a shout out to Sweet Potato Soul her videos are super amazing and she was like the person who really made me think about I can, like I can actually do this. She has recipe videos on her channel. She has Q&A videos asking questions about veganism and then answering them in a very helpful way. And her videos are non-combative. <laughs> I feel like, a, well some vegan videos are like, if you're not vegan you suck and you are horrible and you are trash because of this. And her videos are just very informative and they're very helpful. So I loved her channel. I also love Raw Vegan Not Gross. I actually just bought Laura Miller's book. Woo! I just bought this book a little, like a couple days ago. And um, I just love Laura Miller. Like if you guys don't follow Raw Vegan Not Gross. You've never seen any videos on Text Made. Get your life. She's so awesome and her book is great too. I just love it. But the first book that I ever bought. Before I even thought about for real for real going vegan. Was this book i even i think i talked about this before this is the oh she glows cookbook it's super helpful this is like the vegan bible this is a new york times bestseller and it's i think this is a few years old she has a um app out now and dare i say she has another cookbook i don't know i know the minimalist baker she has a new cookbook out but anyway so I discovered this book like a year or two ago and I made a couple recipes and I really liked it. But now I'm just like obsessed with this book. Um, I've been making so many things from this book and it's so freaking good. Derek even likes an, uh, um, a recipe I made. Derek, this is a vegan meal besides the sour cream because it's not vegan but... Derek, tell the people how you feel about this. Yeah, everything is on point, man. It's so it's on good. Point. Like, human gives it that meaty flavor. Mm -hmm. I was skeptical when people say that. Right. But like, you said this is walnuts. It's talking meat. Yeah. That's walnuts with cumin on it, man. I would have never thought. It's good, right? As a meat lover, yeah. Like, yeah. This whole thing is just like. He's like, if this is what like, vegan tastes like, I can I can go vegan. This that's I just exactly. I go vegan. I just I can do it occasionally. You said you could go vegan. I ain't never going vegan. <laughs> This, well, that's no, what you this said. This is legit. Like these chips and mm -hmm. whatever, nah, they good. Yay. Like, like ridiculously good. Yay. But my point is, I tried it out for one week. I was like, I'm just going to give it, not even one week. I gave it like three days. I was like, I'm just going to try it out, see if I feel better, if I have more energy. Because I have like lots of stuff to do and I just did not want to do it because I just didn't feel good. Like I literally felt like crap. And lo and behold, just two meals, just two meals in one day, I felt like a different person. I had so much energy. Like I felt like I could literally conquer the world. I was like beaming off the walls. I remember I went over to my friend's house. Hey, Angel. I don't know if you watch this video, but hey, girl. Um, I went to her house and we were there to, you know, hang out, play spades drink a little bit just have a good time I was just like you know excited pumped to be there and she was just like did you start drinking already girl like what is wrong with you I was like I am on a natural high <laughs> she started cracking up I'm like seriously like you don't understand being vegan has just changed my life like I feel so just alive like I feel so much better I have all this energy like I feel good and she was just like oh okay and I'm like seriously you know and she's thinking like this girl had a couple shots before she came to my house but I seriously just felt that good I'm like this is the best I've ever felt before and I just continue to feel that way so I'm just so excited that I finally discovered this lifestyle I, again I've been thinking about going vegan for the past year just never really thought about it but I did my research like I really really did my research I watched a lot of YouTube videos, but I also did my research outside of YouTube because I know some people say, oh, I watch videos on YouTube. I know about everything. Like, no, it's good to actually read articles and, you know, maybe even go to the library, like whatever, get a book, like read some stuff because everything everyone says is not always factual. I think the main thing for me was 
instead of thinking about all the stuff I can't eat, I think about all the stuff I can eat. Because whenever you're doing, you know, going into a diet that's so restrictive, you always think about, oh, I'm going to miss this. I'm going to miss that. But what about all this other stuff that you can't eat that tastes freaking amazing? I make stuff for people all the time. And, you know, I say it's vegan. and like, I don't want that crap. I'm not on a diet. I'm not trying to be healthy. But then they eat it and they're like, oh, that's actually really good. Can I have some more? Like, I made some vegan brownies. Um, for my, well, it was really for me <laughs> and, and my friend, but I had leftovers, so I gave it to my, my cousins and my sister because they were, like, really hungry before we were supposed to go out for Mother's Day. And they were like, I don't want that. Gave it to them. This is so good. This is not vegan. This ain't vegan, sorry. It's vegan. Like, I'm so serious. Like, this stuff tastes so good, and it's better for you than something with, like, loads of fat is. Same thing with, like, I thought I was going to miss gelato because i'm a big fan of 20 they have sorbetto that is so freaking good they have they now have chocolate sorbetto that is so amazing especially if you mix it with the raspberry oh my god like it's just so many different options out here and i know i'm coming into veganism now when it's getting kind of like mainstream people are more concerned with what they're consuming so they have a lot more different options but i don't care like i am just it's shocked me that I'm a vegan now and I'm like proud to say I'm a vegan and like I, I'm not one of those crazy <laughs> vegans. I don't go around telling people you can't eat that. Do you know what's in that? Like not into that but I just feel amazing now and I'm just like excited to share the news. So yeah that's why you're going to probably see more vegan inspired videos from me. Um, obviously I don't know what I'm doing with my hair at this point. I haven't really gave it much thought, but I'm just so much more concerned with what's going into my body than what I'm putting on top of it, if that makes sense. Um, I also want to say that I don't have a problem with being social when I go out. Um, I go out quite regularly with my friends and my family. I will say <laughs> the first time I went out was Mother's Day. Um, and I was like really nervous because we were going to Red Lobster and that used to be my favorite restaurant. People were like, what are you going to do? What are you going to eat? Are you just going to stare at us? I made sure I ate something before I went because I knew there were, weren't going to be that many options for me. But I had a baked potato and some broccoli without butter and I was good. It wasn't like I was extremely full or anything, but I, I did eat beforehand. So I think you just have to be prepared when you're a vegan. You have to make sure you eat before you go out if you don't think you're going to have vegan options. Um, I'm actually about to go to a taste fest today. <laughs> I don't know if they're going to have any vegan options for me, but I'm going to make sure I eat beforehand. I might be the only one not tasting anything, but I know that going into it. So I'm not going to be mad if that's the case. So anyway, I think I'm going to wrap it up here. This is probably a long video, but I just want to let you guys know that I am really happy I made the decision. I never thought I would be vegan. I loved loved love cheese i loved eating cookies like all this stuff i don't eat now but there's just so many more things that i can eat that i absolutely love that tastes ridiculously good so i'm going to be doing more of what i eat in a day videos i am going to vlog today when i'm at the taste fest so you you guys will see that video tomorrow and i'm going to continue to do um 30 videos in 30 days I was going to do it last week, but then I got some news that kind of shook up my world a little bit. And I just wasn't in the mood to film at all. But I'm over it. I feel better now. So, uh, yeah, 30 videos in 30 days. Again, I'll be in Arizona. Make sure you get your tickets if you're going to be in the area. And I'm also going to be in San Francisco next week. So I'm going to be vlogging. I'm going to be doing regular videos and everything. So hopefully you guys will be interested in the content that I produce. And I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye!